actor, writer, producer, director. A lot of hats, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Out There as we continue our coverage of this year's Tribeca Film Festival. Sarah Carter, congratulations. Thank you. In Thank her you. name, you are the producer, the writer, the director. I mean, wow. Now what's, what's interesting about this story is two sisters, they're separated as kids, estranged, have to come together, confront quite a few differences, um, and also with the father figure. So um, at the writing side, where did all this kind of come together for you? On the writing side of things, I noticed that when, as an actor, when I read projects, if the, if the material is fantastic, it just is so clear to me that I'm channeling as mm -hmm. an actor. Mm -hmm. And so as a writer, uh, it's a similar experience where if I'm inspired, you know, in this case, I was inspired by Sierra and Aaron and the, you know, what I observed coming through them and then, you know, feeling this impulse yeah. to expand into the entire field and just really start playing. Wow. Um, so it's the, it's that same feeling of opening up as a channel. You always wanted to be like me. Do you think I should bring my portfolio? I don't think this is the time. Maybe I'm putting too much pressure on you. But what I feel so inspiring this year at Tribeca, and in general that I'm seeing is very established performers that are stepping behind the lens and really tackling directing, writing, and producing more and more these days. What would you say is one of the biggest challenges, but one of the biggest rewards for you at this point in your career to do that? As I have matured as, as an artist, um, I really, want to make the most of my impact and to be a writer and, and a director and a producer is the m most effective way to do that probably given right. my skill, skill set also i think you start to notice where the industry has fallen short and you want to take that into your own hands for me it was that the, the motherhood piece why are you here this is my house Mom left it to me. It was her name on the title. Are you insane? We know you initially as a very talented performer, you know, uh, Smallville, Falling Skies, The Flash, but you've been inspired by some pretty big directors like uh, Steven Spielberg, uh, Judge Apatow, and, uh, and Spike Lee. What inspiration did you get from those established directors that, that you brought to the table, you know, behind the lens? I think it's really just observing what mastery is. And I am personally from what I perceive in these great directors and then feeling motivated to move in that direction and really notice, you know, what does it look like to, for in the case of Spike Lee, to be such a social activist as well as a wild creative and have those things merge and so he mm. really woke me up to that possibility and with steven spielberg obviously he he does a similar thing um with his work but his work i think really helped me to appreciate the value of goodness in storytelling mm. and just how difficult that is to achieve judd apatow as well obviously <laughs> he's <laughs> that canadian sense of humor the canadian dry sense of humor right. i think those three directors in particular just gave me a lot of direction and um, information. Like I'd, I'd absorb data about what's possible. What's exactly what's wrong with this family? She's like a mother trying to turn you against me. If you had to say what you want audiences to walk away from this film, what would you say would be one key message? Um, really just the power of forgiveness, the power of radical acceptance, and the importance of coming together, especially at a time like this. I am not my mother. <laughs> In Her Name, a must-see film. Congratulations, and we look forward to seeing more from you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media, at Melissa DeMarco, for more exclusive content with your favorite celebs. I'll see you guys out there.